Farm work is hard work, and it's your respiratory system that allows you to do the work that you do. This includes not just your lungs, but everything connecting them to your nose and your mouth. The system's important for providing your body the oxygen needed to get the work done. It's no surprise then that we breathe in a lot of air and breathe even more when performing strenuous activity, as often occurs during farming. Think about how much stuff there is in the air we breathe. Dusts, gases, molds, viruses, and other hazards. Over time, breathing in these hazards can lead to numerous complications in the respiratory system, which can make it harder to breathe and, in turn, harder to continue your work on the farm. Many of you will know, either personally or secondhand, the effects asthma, farmer's lung, chronic bronchitis, or other respiratory conditions can have on your work. Additionally, certain hazards, such as pesticides, can be absorbed into your bloodstream after being inhaled, causing health effects in parts of your body far from your respiratory system, such as your brain. This is why protecting our respiratory system through the use of wearing a respirator when necessary is so important and, in fact, sometimes required by law. Proper use of a respirator can protect you from these hazards, keeping your lungs and the rest of your body healthy and strong to keep you farming. This series of videos is meant to help answer your questions about respirator use, such as, how do I know if I need a respirator? How do I pick the correct type of respirator? How do I get a medical evaluation for respirator use? And how do I make sure I'm wearing my respirator correctly? Click on any of the links to see a short video addressing these questions. Additionally, you can contact Michigan State University Extension for any questions that are not answered by these videos or for any other clarifications regarding the use of respirators on farms.